everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video so i look really pale what i've just realized but i have got new hair um which will be documented in the vlog so make sure you check that out if it's not up already if it is make sure you watch after this video but i know what draws you in i know why you're here um it's why i'm here too funny enough all my sit down videos at the moment seem to be hauls um, I could say I'm sorry about it, that's going to be my pay the haul, but I'm not, quite frankly. So I got paid my first proper paycheck, like full paycheck, and um, it's safe to say I I got a lot. I got a lot. So I headed into Primark and I spent £101, which for me to be able to do that is just incredible, and I just feel really good about it. So um, this big bag is full of goodness. Um, and we're gonna get into it. There's ran, there's fashion, like fashion. There's clothes, there's shoes, there's beauty bits, nails, of course. Um, but yeah, I have got the essentials as well. You'll see that in my payday haul. I know a lot of you like that. Um, but yeah, so let's just get into this Primark bag of good pack of these square gloss. Let me get a bit closer. Ooh. Um, and these were two pounds. I absolutely love these. You guys all know this if you watch my channel before. Um, but I just won't be wearing them to work because the tips don't last very long. Um, they do fade quite quickly. They're affordable. What well, you can't grumble, but yeah, I picked up some more of these because they're beautiful. And then, if you guys remember, I think I picked my last pack up from Lee's, which was all the way back in November. Criminal. Um, but my local Primark wasn't stocking the the white nails so i'm really happy that i was managed to pick them up because i absolutely love them they're such a classic one pound 30 a pack you really cannot grumble um and i'm going to talk about the packaging because honestly the fact that you can stack these in your drawers or however you want to store your nails you may not be like me and want to organize it and that's fine but me i love seeing my nails and seeing what i've got um so yeah i absolutely love those pair of trainers because the ones i'm wearing which i'm not gonna i'm not gonna pretend i'm that flexible but i've got a pair of pink ones which are absolutely ruined so i am gonna keep them until they're literally falling apart but i've got a pair of these absolutely love these i think i've had these ones before um 14 pounds size seven and i'm really excited about this because i'm not a heel kind of girl if you know me you know i'm a very tall girl i'm six foot bordering six and a half um, so heels are just not practical for me. They're not comfortable either. I don't find them comfy. Comfort is key. So I picked these up and I'm really happy about it because these are super comfy. For Primark trainers, they are so comfortable. I got and future outfits. I just got some like Converse dupes, really. Um, they have some really good trainers in Primark. Definitely go to your local Primark if you want a new pair and you don't want to spend a mini fortune. Don't get me wrong, there are some like Adidas ones I want to treat myself to in future, but for now, Primark will fill that gap. Um, and these were only seven pounds, I want to say. Yeah, seven pounds, size seven once again. Um, I know white is very dangerous. These are gonna probably get filthy, but for the price point, you can't really grumble too much. Um, we'll stick to, well, these socks, obviously, but they are the cutest pack of socks I've ever have seen. So when I do, when I've, I feel, I'm currently filming, um, over a long span of time, a uh, long space of time. I'm currently filming a, like, a huge declutter of my room, like, clothes, I'm going to be decluttering a lot of other spaces in my room. Um, clearly to free up space for all this stuff. And including that is socks. I've got so many pairs of socks that are grotty, don't, I don't wear because of the fact they're grotty, not matching, and this just... It's a bit chaotic. My sock life, can we believe, is a bit chaotic. So I picked these up. They're basically like Haribo socks. You've got a pair of strawberry socks. Um, and these were three pounds. Is it gonna focus? There you go. Um, so you've got strawberry, you then got bubble oh hang on. Bubblegum bottles, you then have cola bottles, which you know is one of my favourite sweets, um, fried eggs, uh, cherries, and then like the gummy bears and then the last one is the, like the lips i absolutely love these they're so soft as well um and for a pack of two four six well one two three four five six seven yeah it does say seven pairs of socks to be fair but for seven pairs of socks for three pounds and they feel really thick considering you know they're primark um and they're really cute who said socks can't be cute gone are the days of boring socks okay and then i won't show fully because it all set the exposure off like mad, but I got a swimsuit, got a swimming costume, um, and this was £12. I don't know whether I'm going to be returning it, because I don't know if I got the right size, but it's really nice. Going to get back into the swimming game, going on Bank Holiday Monday, um, and I can't wait. So that was one of my essentials that I had to get. Um, and then clothes-wise, oh my god. So I don't know what the word is, because my mum had to keep correcting me, but basically these clothes are giving me summer 
on holiday in like Barcelona with a cold ice lemonade and I just absolutely, I'm here for it. I'm here for the quality. I'm here for the pattern. I'm just in a stripy mood clearly. But I've got this one which is quite similar to this. Um, but obviously it's got a bit more of a gap and I am just so excited to try this on. Um, I got it in a medium, it was £6 and it just feels, it doesn't feel like Primark quality and I know that may sound bad, bad to say but we all know the old school Primark was a lot cheaper. Um, it was just really thin and flimsy but this just feels so nice and I'm into this kind of vibe at the moment. So I'm kind of redoing my wardrobe to fit that aesthetic. And then I got this top, this top screamed at me, quite literally, promise, um, and I love it. It is so cute, um, and this was once again, oh no, this was £7. Just such nice material, such nice a feel to it, and I can't wait to be rocking this um, for a summer's lunch or something. And then to go with the, both those tops and any tops, to be honest, once again, I know very dangerous, but a pair of white, like, linen trousers, um, and these were £10 in a medium once again. I thought because the elastic's quite stretchy, but I'm going to try them on if necessary, I'll just have to change sizes. It's not that big of a deal, um, but yeah, really nice, and I'm very excited to wear these. Um, okay, so we'll save this kind of like fashion bit. I've got two pairs of sunglasses, and when I tell you, these are also from Primark, from like last year, I think. We all know I love this kind of like cat eye effect, so by going by that standard, I have had these before, but I broke them. And that's why I like Primark sunglasses. They're very inexpensive. Um, they're good quality now. Um, so I've got another pair of these tortoise shell ones. I'm sorry. Who is she? Um, yeah, I absolutely love these. I'm not going to ramble too much on about them, but beautiful sunglasses. And then, of course, I had to get the biggest pair of sunglasses I saw. Um, and I didn't try them on, but actually, they're just so nice. Um pretty standard and these were well this pair was this pair of sunglasses was three pound fifty and this pair of sunglasses was two pound fifty that's what i mean cheap and affordable and i normally use them as just like a hair accessory to be honest the thing that we are going to first actually before beauty is this now i cannot express to you guys and this may sound very dramatic and i don't actually care primark never has my phone case size in stock ever so when i saw this I was like, just to prove to myself that my phone isn't, you know, non-Primark exclusive or whatever, I picked up this case and it's really nice. Obviously, I am very aware that this is not going to be like my lovely skinny dip shop cases. This is also a new case that will be featured in my Payday Haul 1950s style Beauty and the Beast with a nice ring holder kind of thing from Amazon. Um, and these are shop cases. These are absolutely incredible. I'm going to talk more about this phone case, which might sound crazy, but you'll get it if you watch my Payday Haul in my Payday Haul. But I just wanted this because it's really pretty and I just loved, I just loved it. It was £5. Um, to compare, in comparison, the shop cases are normally 24 I got this on sale. Um, but, you know, the price point, obviously there is a massive difference. If you're not clumsy with your phone, then I definitely recommend just getting whatever case. However, I will scream from the hilltops about, um, or rooftops, whatever, about skinny dip shop cases because I've dropped my phone God knows how many times and I can tell you... Hand on heart, hand on the Bible in court. It never cracked, it's never cracked, never smashed. Um, and I used to always have that problem. However, I will risk it for a chocolate biscuit and use this case because it was just too pretty to leave behind. The fact they actually had a case for my phone was just incredible. So impulsive Lily kind of went there, but I'm really happy about it. Um, I hope I'm not rushing through things. It's just, you know, I've got a lot of nice stuff, but you know, I don't, I just don't want to faff. Who am I? Okay, so fragrance. I picked this up. I've seen this in Primark so many times and I've left it. And I thought, you know what? Today is the goddamn day. Now, if you didn't know, you will know by this video because of the theme. I love anything peach scented. Now, I have not actually tried this yet. Um, the tester was broken. What a surprise. Um, so I couldn't smell it. But I just took a risk. It was £6. Peach bouquet, 50ml. Um, sweet, citrus and earthy, a modern powerful fragrance with top notes of blood orange, a gourmet heart of honey and gardenia and a deep woody earthy undertones on a base of patchouli. It's vegan and cruelty free which is amazing. Um, it's quite a pretty bottle, it's like frosted glass, um, looks a little bit bougie. I probably will take the ribbon off because it does look a bit tacky, I can't lie, it takes away from the bougie effect. This will probably be like a work fragrance, just a quick spritz and go. 
Um, but yeah, Primark fragrances are actually quite nice. I've got a works um, fragrance that I use, which is also from Primark. I think it's Midnight Haze or something. Um, I'll show it in my vlogs, um, so make sure you check them out if you want to. But yeah, this fragrance just looks lovely, and I'm really excited to smell it. So I will send, send test um, in a vlog coming soon. But yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with this, and I really hope I like the scent. Otherwise, I may actually cry. Okay. On the peach theme, they um, have got a peach please range, which as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, come to me. So, this is a lip exfoliator. This was £1.30 with Jojo Bubba Sweet Almond and Peach Oil. My lips get so dry, no matter what time of year it is. It could be Sahara Desert outside, which, let's be honest, I live in the UK, which is not very common. But even if it was really hot, my lips will still get so dry um, and just so not very nice they did have a pot version of this however i normally have nails on no matter whether they're this length which are also from primark by the way um love them whether they're this length or whether they're short length i don't like dipping my hands into a pot call me dramatic call me crazy but the fact that this is in stick form is amazing and i can't wait to smell this as well and then i also got the lip balm because i've got a thing about lip balms and lip oils at the moment i don't know quite what it is um but i'm loving like the glossy lip look i say that with no lip oil on which is actually kind of making me feel a bit... When I do my makeup declutter, which you'll see soon, this is going because it's so grotty. However, I would probably purchase another one. I'm not a massive fan of the scent. It's not very... It's revolution, at touch, like lip elixir, lip oil thing. Um, but it's like so... It's been loved. I have used this to the core. Um, but yeah, I do love the glossy, balmy look on my lips. Um, it's super comfortable, so... I'm really excited to smell these, as I said, because I love anything peach-themed, let alone peach-scented. Okay, so we'll go on to makeup. I picked up two makeup items. So, Emma, you know who you are, my dear. Um, she showed me this because I absolutely love... The good thing about filming here is that I can just get products out. I absolutely love Swear By. It has me by the neck. I've got, this has got me in chokehold, honestly. The e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I didn't believe the hype. Um, but as you can see, it's been well used. This primer changed my makeup game, merely for the fact it is so, as it says, it's a Power Grip Primer. It's so tacky. I literally test it most times. I just stick it to my face. It shows. It's a great primer. It works for me. I know some makeup products don't work for everyone, but if we compare the size, it's a no-brainer. This costs £10. This costs 5 so Emma got me onto this. It's the Ultra Grip Primer. Sounds very familiar. Um, invisible Hydrating Makeup Gripping Primer with something I can't pronounce, mushroom extract, hyaluronic acid and aloe vera juice. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to giving this a go and I am going to compare it because if this is just as good as, which it's got a lot to live up to, and I know it, it may not, who knows, but that's the fun of trying new things. If it lives up to this, I will probably swap it out because look at the size difference like this has how many does it even say how many mil of product yeah it's got 24 mil this has 45 mil it's right on the front lily do you see what i mean like you want to try and cut costs where you can and primer is probably a good place to start um the prep and perfect range i have really liked before so i have high hopes but yeah if it matches then this will be used and then not repurchased but i'm not holding my breath because i'm afraid i absolutely love this stuff um it makes my makeup look flawless it really helps everything stick together and like just melt into my skin really but i'm really excited to give it a go in fact this is like a bluey color this is greeny color probably the only difference other than the size and the price point for now but i will test it out and i will let you guys know i'll do it in a video um and mention it in vlogs as well because i have had people that i've told that i've got this they want to know what i think thank you um means a lot <laughs> um but yeah so i'm really excited to try that ramble over about primer and then i got the cream contour buildable coverage because i know i have so many different versions of this due for the charlotte tilbury ones we all know how expensive they are this was 450 the shade looks pretty good it didn't have a shade name as far as like oh no this is dark brown shows that i was just in super spending mode when i bought it but I do really like some of Primark's cream products, which the old Lily in her makeup game would have gone, no way. Um, I never liked them um, because I didn't really have the right kind of makeup tools to work with them. Um, I would never apply those straight to my face, merely for the fact when I've used these kind of products before with a sponge, it just leaves dot marks. So I like squeeze it onto my hand, buff in and just apply how I normally do. 
However, I am really looking forward to trying this. I'm going to add it to my testing Primark video, which I'm going to probably film over the bank holiday weekend. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to try this. I know I keep saying that, but I genuinely am. And then we have two last bits. This is kind of to do with makeup and skincare. Um, we all know I love a powder puff. This jar is looking quite empty because I've got some in the wash. I've got powder puffs in here. I've got my powder puff in the bathroom. And then I've got reusable cotton pads. I have completely like swayed now from cotton pads because I just find these a lot softer on my skin. I'm not scrubbing as much and I just have a lot less breakouts since not using cotton pads for me personally. Um, I like the fact it comes in a bag. If I actually manage to not lose this, then it will come with me when I go the nights away or I'm not at home. Um, but yeah, these are just the Glow Skin Set, Remove, Cleanse and Exfoliate. Um, so I think you've got like an exfoliant pad in there, um, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, £2.50 for these and pretty much anywhere I go that I see something like this when I've got the money, I pick them up because you can never have too many, um, to be honest, in my opinion. So yeah, if you are on the fence about trying these, definitely, definitely do because for me personally, it's changed my skin completely. So this product is something that I wasn't actually planning on getting, but I've seen their new kind of like pro hair care range. Um, I have recently had my hair done. My hair got saved by an absolute amazing guy of a hairdresser. Um, it was in a really bad state. Due to me being really low, and I really want to make this clear and known, because I think it's really important to talk about, you know, the hard times if you feel comfortable doing so, which I do. I left my hair to get in a really horrendous state, to the point where I th thought I wouldn't have any hair left. Um, because I just didn't look after it, it was matted, it was just in shocking condition, and bless Dan, he really, he worked hard, and we're here, and we're thriving again, um, so I feel like that part of my life where I was just hopeless, lost, felt really shit, is finally starting to literally, it cho got chopped off, and it felt amazing, so, until I've got the budget for the higher end bracket of stuff, I wanted to give this a go, because I've tried a lot of heat protectant sprays, and things like that, because now I've got my hair back, to how it should be, I love straightening my hair. It's one of my favorite things. To have pin straight hair is a must for me. I don't have like the curliest of hair, but I do have quite frizzy hair. And this is the Frizz Shield Mist. I think it's kind of like, because Dan used the three in one spray, no, the 10 in one spray, sorry, by Beauty Works, which I'm definitely gonna have to purchase off TikTok shop because it was amazing. And it just made my hair feel incredible. And that is half the reason why I've got the hair I've got now. Um, but this is, um, it just, it was five pounds, 100 minute product, protects hair against heat damage up to 230 degrees, long lasting anti-frizz protection. That's something I struggle with with my hair a lot, really frizzy hair, um, very static or whatever like that. So I'm looking forward to giving it a go. We'll see what it's like. Um, but as I said, I will be upgrading my hair care products when I can afford it. But for now, we're gonna give this a try. So that is everything for my really nice big Primark haul. This is the first time in months I've actually gone to Primark and got the bits I've needed, wanted, and just fancy picking up, to be honest, which is a really nice feeling. Um, does my bank account appreciate it? Absolutely not, but I'll be focusing on that. Absolutely not. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please know that my Instagram messages are always open. Feel free to pop me a message if you ever just want to chat about anything because I just feel like it's good to reach out to people if you feel comfortable doing so, which I know I keep saying, but part of my sort of like therapy and stuff is, is putting yourself out of your comfort zone, but only to how far you feel comfortable, which sounds backwards, but it makes sense. Trust me. Um, but yeah, my DMs are always open. Comment section is always open. Let's keep it a positive space. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. As always, you beautiful lot. And get ready for my payday haul because you'll see this one first and my payday haul is epic. Like, epic. My first ever payday haul was amazing. This payday haul is on another level. I've got one, two, three, four bags, but multiple shops. Got my essentials, but also treated myself for the journey that I'm on, getting better, getting mentally better, and I can firmly say that it's working. I'm looking at flowers that I got given on date night, and it's just reminding me that good things happen, not just in the dating circuit, but I would never be where I am today if I hadn't gone through all the shit. A bit deep for Primark Hall, but I would never be where I am today without going through their shit. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and yeah, as I said, my DMs are always open. So, I will leave you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you in my next vlog or video, whichever one first.